Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're gonna be talking about a problem you guys will probably run into if you guys are a new player in the game of Oxygen Not Included. And this problem that we run into a lot is a headache because a lot of the times people don't know what's the actual cause of the issue. And today we'll showcase exactly what's going on, talk about the issue, so that you know how to solve the problem. We're going to be going over what's called state change inside a pipeline. Of course, this applies to anything that's a pipeline, gas line, liquid line, solid line. If you go through state change or pipelines break. And otherwise, if you don't have state change happen in the pipeline, your pipeline can never really be damaged. So because of that, we're going to show you what I mean how that happens and some popular buildings that have this problem run into. So of course, the building we're going to be looking at for this example is going to be the metal refinery. A lot of the times people don't understand that the metal refinery generates a lot of heat on the liquid. So when we're making said maybe steel or something like that, you'll see exactly the problem as we uh, run into. So we have silent one over here making the steel with the speed and the moment he completes it we get heat damage right there and then the water starts leaking out and you're looking at that heat damage not understanding what's going on and bam you get pipe breakage specifically on your pipes so this issue if you get this happening and you hover over the broken part and you see over here insulated liquid pipe broken so your dupes will repair this. Now, if you guys are wondering what's going on, we are having something called state change. So what we made was steel and it was heating up our water by 56 degrees Celsius. Basically, uh, water becomes steam over 100. So if the water was hot enough and then we added more heat to that, what happens is that the water becomes steam and the moment it releases from the output pipe, it becomes a gas. And in this game of oxygen not included, liquid pipes could only hold liquids. If you have a solid or gas inside, the pipes immediately break. Same thing with the gas pipes. If you have a gas become a liquid inside of the pipeline, your pipelines will take damage and immediately break. Now, a lot of the times you might be thinking maybe the pipes are overheating, things like that, and then you go into the you, you see that there's no overheat value and then you click on the igneous rock and maybe you think that's it and you go to the igneous and you find out the igneous only becomes liquid at 1400 degrees and you're stumped. What's actually happened is what I just explained with the state change. So a lot of the times what you have to be aware of is when you're running something inside, you have to be aware of the temperature. So in our case, because we made steel, the best thing to do with that here is to hover over the temperature of how much it increases your medium. So this can happen with any liquid as you could boil any liquid as long as it gets hot enough. So if your input of uh, liquid for your metal refinery is too hot, it's going to break in most cases. This also happens if you were to have something called a cool salt slush geyser. This is minus 10 degrees, and if you were to run that into a desalinator where it converts the salt water or brine into regular water, you might not actually pay attention to it, but water actually freezes at minus 10, anything in the negative. So if you were to convert that on a desalinator, you would actually have your desalinator pipelines break as well. Another popular issue with that is the glass forge as glass in the molten state because when you make a glass forge the glass comes out as a liquid and that means it's actually above a thousand degrees but below 2300 and because of that if you have the pipelines made out of you know radiant piping or regular liquid pipes and it's a little bit too long you might have that molten glass solidify so those are the popular buildings that run into this problem. Any building could run into this problem. It's not really those specific buildings, but anytime your pipelines break, that's what's happening as pipelines typically never overheat and break like that unless they are melted. But even then, if the pipeline gets hot enough that it does melt, it will never say broken. 
when a pipeline melts, it literally just disappears and you don't get a notification that it's broken. It literally just zaps itself from existence and drop it liquid form on the floor and most likely solidify immediately. But of course, guys, if you guys run into that issue, you guys just have to pay attention to the contents of the medium more. Clicking on the metal refinery gives you the temperature of the uh, liquid medium inside, so you're more wary of it. Same thing with the input of the temperature. If you had the cool salt slush, like I talked about, that's minus 10. Understand that when you convert it to water, it breaks the pipes. So check that out, guys. A lot of the times it's state change. But of course, that has been the video going over what's happening, why are my pipes breaking, and the most common issue that new players run into. If you guys have any comments about this, leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.